He does not have the patience and gets really angry when for instance attempting to do toddler's bedtime routine, so that's all on me as well. He often goes to bed early and then has the nerve to complain if I'm making noise finishing dinner cleanup etc. He thinks he has a fragrance allergy, so I'm really limited in the products I can use, let alone make the house or myself smell nice for my own enjoyment. Recently, the dog had diarrhea all over the carpet, but he didn't want to rent a proper carpet cleaner for fear of the solution's potential smell, so I had to figure out a fragrancy-free way to clean it by hand. He's had a nail fungus on his left hand for years and I kept reminding him to make a doctor's appointment and then I had to beg him to, to take his meds, because he was afraid of the side effects until finally the baby and I got thrush and he relented. He is the kind of person that forgets to replace empty toilet paper, struggles to remember to use a toilet brush, leaves dirty dishes everywhere, etc. When I was on bed rest for both babies it took a lot of asking and continues reminding for him to do the things I usually do and I felt exhausted. When I had our first, he didn't want to stay at the hospital, didn't want to come to the first round of induction because he was tired and after baby was born, opened the window and left it open all night, after a nurse with a laundry detergent smell he didn't like came in to check on us. Baby had lowered body temperature then in the morning and the nurses were really concerned. I was too exhausted from birth to catch that then. For some reason he was really sad on our wedding day, he says he was triggered from taking pictures, because his mom would always force him to take pictures, but that doesn't sound quite right to me. I've been asked for the reasons I do stay a few times. Mainly, I'm afraid he'll struggle to adequately take care of the kids on his own with split custody like changing diapers on time, feeding them often enough and nutritiously, dressing them for the weather, etc. The things he does do, I would then have to do myself, I wonder whether that is worth it. We are great friends. I should have known it would be like this when he never learned to replace toilet paper rolls, it's my own fault. To answer some recurring questions. What I mean by friends is taking the kids and dogs for stroller runs together, training for a marathon, going on hikes and backpacking together, he makes me laugh, it makes me really happy seeing him play with the kids, we share a passion for meditation, yoga, and animal rights, we agree on attachment parenting. Things I realize I should have mentioned, he's actually taking the toddler to the playground a lot so baby and I have some space to get things done without the tot helping, and he wears baby for all her naps when he is working from home. He eats gluten-free bread that I bake for him, because many people assume he eats gluten bread. We have been sleeping together because many parenting books and advice I read recommend scheduling weekly intimacy for connection and oxytocin to be better parents together. In my mind it has been something I'm doing for the kids. But after this pregnancy scare, I'm done with that. Conclusion, I'll set him down ASAP and issue an ultimatum, thank you all for the tough love and support.